guys, I'm Geoffrey, and today we're going to continue the first book of Kings. We have our channel in Spanish, and we'll leave a link in the description. We also have our arts and crafts videos. This story can be found in 1 Kings chapters 5 through 9, and in 1 Chronicles chapters 2 through 7. Let's listen to the story. God had not allowed King David to build a temple in Jerusalem as David was a man of war. However, David had prepared a plot of land in the city for his son Solomon to build the temple and gathered some of the building materials he would need. Before he died, David gave Solomon the plans and instructions for building the temple. Be strong and courageous and do the work, for the Lord is with you, David told Solomon. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work is finished. When Solomon became king, he purchased expensive timber from King Haram of Tyre. 30,000 workers were conscripted to work in shifts cutting trees in Lebanon. Large cedars and juniper trees were then floated down the coast to Joppa. They were then hauled overland to Jerusalem. Solomon had 70,000 carriers and 80,000 stonecutters in the hills, managed by 3,300 foremen. They quarried large blocks of high-grade stone and chiseled them into shape before transporting them to the temple. In this way, no hammer, chisel or iron tool was heard at the temple site while it was being built. The temple was 90 feet or 27 meters long, 30 feet, or 9 meters wide, and 45 feet, or 14 meters high. The interior walls were lined with cedar boards. On the walls around the temple were carvings of angels, palm trees, and open flowers. The inner sanctuary was overlaid inside with pure gold, the floors of the inner and outer room were also covered with gold. Gold was used to create the altar, the table for bread, the lampstands and other furnishings. There was gold floral work, large golden cherubim, golden lamps and tongs, pure gold basins, wick trimmers, sprinkling bowls, dishes and censers. The silver and gold furnishings that King David had dedicated were brought into the temple. Top craftsmen who worked with bronze were hired from King Hiram to make two large pillars for the entry of the temple. A large wash basin stood on top of twelve bronze bulls. Ten movable stands and basins were also crafted in bronze. It took seven years to complete the magnificent work on the temple. The elders and a vast number of people were assembled at a holiday feast to watch as the Ark of the Covenant was brought into the temple. It was put in the most holy place beneath the wings of the cherubim. When the priests withdrew from the holy place, the cloud of the glory of the Lord filled the temple and was so overwhelming the priests were unable to perform their service. Solomon blessed the people and praised God. The Lord has kept his promise to David, and I have built the temple for the name of the Lord, he declared. He stood before the altar with his arms spread, knelt and prayed, May your eyes look at this temple night and day and hear our prayers. Hear from heaven, and when you hear, forgive. The king then told the congregation, May the Lord be with us as he was with our ancestors, and never leave or forsake us. May he turn our hearts to fully obey his commands. 22,000 cattle and 120,000 sheep and goats were offered in sacrifice. When Solomon had built the temple and his own palace, God spoke to him, I have consecrated this temple by putting my name there forever. If you obey me, you will never fail to have a successor on the throne of Israel. But if you or your descendants turn away from me and worship other gods, I will cut them off from the promised land, and this temple will become a heap of rubble. 
In this episode, we saw how Solomon was obedient to God and carried out the construction of the temple. Solomon also fulfilled David's desire to build a temple for God. It is important to always obey God and keep our promises too. God likes it when we are obedient to him and to his word, which is the Bible. Many more things are yet to come for Solomon, but we will see those in the next episodes. Thanks for watching. Please check our videos, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.